Det är ju en ikon. Det är en person som har då uppfunnit lite av förutsättningarna för kan man säga fri och öppen programvara med öppen källkod och GNU. Det är han som är hjärnan bakom det. Han är också en stark förkämpe för yttrandefrihet mot eh, massövervakning. Han revolterar lite grann mot det här att man skulle vara inlåst i proprietära system och istället så skulle det vara en öppenhet till källkoden då som gjorde att man kunde dela eh, uppfinningar mellan varandra på ett bättre sätt. Det är också, man kan säga att det är väl egentligen det som har gjort att det överhuvudtaget finns någon Android eller någonting. Det, det är han som är hjärnan bakom det kan man säga. I campaign for freedom for people in their computing. The users should have control over how their computing is done. It's something that anyone who does computing fundamentally deserves to have. If you don't control that software, it controls you. If you lose that freedom, you end up mistreated constantly by the developers of the software that you're using. Yeah, the GNU project was the project to develop a completely free software, Unix-like operating system. And the reason I started that project is because there was nothing like it. There was no free system anymore. And thus continuing to make things better without treating anybody as an enemy or an outcast. Developers of non-free software systematically tried to make the users promise not to share anything with anybody. Divide and rule. Make the users promise not to help each other so that they are all subjugated. If what they're doing is dividing people and building an empire, I think it would be better if they went broke. Instead of despairing and going away and hiding from it, I said, I can change this. I'll change this if it's the last thing I do. If you pay in a way that isn't cash, it's typically tracked. A giant database records what you bought. So if you make a practice, as I do, of always paying cash, you're less vulnerable and the society you are in is less vulnerable. If you use a non-free program, you are putting yourself under the power of the company that develops it. If the Swedish government uses that non-free program, it's putting itself and Sweden under the power of the company that develops that program. It's constant opportunity to spy on you and you have no way of knowing how much it's spying. This is lunacy. It shouldn't even be considered an option. I don't know how to say where something comes from inside me. It's the expression of my feeling towards injustice. When I see something that strikes me as injustice, I feel moral conviction that this must be stopped. Now, this fighting was not going to be done with guns, but it was fighting nonetheless in a moral sense. Dr. Richard Stolman is one of the people who have been like, maybe an icon for a whole generation of tech techniques. So it's really interesting and it's really nice that he's here and can talk about this as well. Can I get you something to drink? Coffee or tea or something? No, but I need to get work done. That's what it is. It's time for me to do my ordinary work, yes. which I didn't do enough of yesterday, and I won't do enough of today. Now, but it's time for the auction. This is an adorable book. Now, I will want you to pay cash for it. We actually can accept a credit card payment, but I'll do it if necessary. I've got 1,000 kroner, 1,700. I've got 2,000, 3,500, anybody? Gone for 5,000. Please come up. Please come up and pay. Wait, thank you so much. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I told you about the idea to auction a virtual GNU for a thousand kroner or more. Always paying cash.